It was Bulgaria's National Day today at Expo, so we stopped by the sports arena to talk to Olympic medalists Simona Diankova, Madeleine Radukanova, Laura Tretsky and Erika Zafrova. Казвам се Симона Дянкова от град Варна и съм капитан на отбора, който миналата година завоюва първия златен олимпийски медал за българската художествена гимнастика. Подготвяхме се 5 години за това състезание. Всяко едно състезание преди Олимпийските игри го приемахме като една тренировка. Това беше, беше нашата мечта и сме много щастливи, че успяхме да осъществим. Преди всяко наше излизане на Килима, се стремим да сме максимално спокойни, събираме се и си казваме да сме максимално спокойни, концентрирани, защото съчетанията ни са в много бързо темпо и за нас е важно да сме максимално в това, което правим на момента. Много сме щастливи, че сме тук в Дубай, много ни харесва атмосферата, много ни е интересно да разгледаме павилионите на всички страни и нямаме търпение да представим нашата страна за пореден път тук в Дубай. Аз се казвам Стефани Кирякова, на 21 години съм и съм родена в град Бургас. Аз започнах да тренирам художествена гимнастика още когато бях в детската градина и бях на 6 годинки. След което доста бързо разбрах, че това ще се окаже моя спорт и се влюбих в художествената гимнастика. И така стигнах, може би това беше главната сила, която ме доведе до Олимпийските игри в Токио. След Олимпийските игри ние поставихме края на нашите спортни кариери, всичките пет момичета, така че вече не се състезаваме активно. България има нов национален отбор, но ние оставаме една до друга във всеки един аспект от нашите животи, защото сме, освен всичко останало, много близки и приятелки. Голяма чест е за нас отново да бъдем някъде извън България, но да показваме България на света и сме много щастливи. Много се вълнуваме и за тази вечер, и за утре вечер. Аз се казвам Ерика Зафирова. Тренирам от 7 годишна възраст художествена гимнастика. Започнала съм в град Кюстендил и така до Олимпийския връх. Ами, чувството да бъдеш на Олимпийския връх е неописуемо. Се носи в космоса. Ако не, не го изпиташ и не станеш шампион, няма как да го пресъздадеш. Изключително сме впечатлени от а, това, което е създадено тук. А, как всички държави са пристигнали в Дубай. Обиколихме за сега няколко штанда и сме много впечатлени от това, как а, държавите представят а, своето си. А, за до вечера сме много горди, че ще представим нашата прекрасна България отново. Continuing Bulgaria's National Day celebrations, we take a look around the pavilion and see what the Balkan nation has to offer. Our theme of the pavilion is to show the visitors the culture, the nature and uh, our history. First thing of visitors when they enter the pavilion is the, the nice smell of roses. Our country is very famous of the rose oil. 
Bulgaria is famous with one festival, uh, while the uh, girls go early in the morning to pick roses. And during that day, when they pick the roses, visitors in this part of Bulgaria can watch how they extract the rose oil from the roses. They can see uh, a lot of videos uh, of the, all our resorts, where a lot of tourists come in the winter and in the summer. Beautiful rivers that we have. They can uh, be uh, a part of our history by uh, looking at the exhibition of one of the oldest gold treasure found on Earth. When they leave the pavilion, they can uh, drop off to our uh, store where they can buy cosmetics with rose oil, with lavender, which uh, yet again we are famous. The visitors can buy and taste the very delicious products from our country. experience at the Expo has been marvelous. It is proud and it's uh, honoring to have this pavilion because in this way we can we have made many connections. We have made uh, uh, we met a lot of people from different countries and of course uh, very important that we made friends which will be for life. Bulgaria is known for its rich history and natural diversity, but the nation is a hidden gem if you're interested in health and wellness. We stop by the pavilion to find out more. Bulgaria has enormous potential with respect to the health tourism. We are full of mineral springs and mineral waters. We are full of curative knots. We have the amazing Black Sea, which by itself, by the, by the power of the seawater, can have a very healing effect on the body. A very common thing is uh, to have your uh, nose running. But the seawater uh, can actually be very useful for that. Another very good example is sulfur. Sulfur is essential uh, for the joints of the human body. So if you have pain in your ankles or in your knees, you don't need it. One way, of course, is to have a very painful injection. Another way is just to soak yourself in a not very pleasant smelling, but extremely healthy, curative mud bath. There is uh, a legend saying that uh, when God uh, was giving uh, lands to people, Bulgarians were late. So they were left with a little bit of everything. We have uh, a little bit of perfect sandy beaches. We have a little bit of uh, mountains. Uh, we have a little bit of rivers. COVID has had a very negative effect uh, on Bulgarian tourism like everywhere else in the world. It was grave and uh, we are still recovering from the effects of it. Uh, but we are very optimistic. We hope that 2022 is going to bring us the positive news uh, that we all need in our industry. We believe it's important to limit the physical contact, at least for the time being. We, we no longer need to, to touch the physical paper menus. Uh, we don't have to use the phone inside the hotel room. You know, all of those services we have digitalized. The Touch Menu is a cloud-based platform. It's specifically designed to service the hospitality industry and in more details, hotels. We have an artificial intelligence engine that further optimizes the guest experience. For instance, let's say you, you order a salad and you remove the onions. The system will know that it will know you don't like onions or maybe you have allergy to certain uh, items. So the unique experience is expressed in that we are able to uh, reorder uh, all the categories and items in, inside the menu to match your preferences.
one of the features that we, we proud ourselves with is our uh, language features. The, so language barrier is no longer an, an option. Everyone can use the platform regardless of their origin. Um, we have an option to, to translate this platform into multiple languages. We try to, to leverage on the image of the Expo. Uh, and this is a, a worldwide phenomenon. And uh, uh, this is the reason why we as Bulgarians are here to promote our country, to promote the services that we provide to our guests and uh, to try uh, uh, so that the world gets around.